Um, yeah, it was actually a pretty historic season for us at W&J. Um, couldn't be more proud of the senior class, definitely the most gifted senior class that we are graduating, um, likely in the history of the program. So obviously we, not the outcome that we wanted, but I think over and over again, we've just been continuously so proud of, of their fight um, and their commitment and just the way that they've played this season. I think they went out, unfortunately, without a, without a win, but they went out on their own terms. Um, and I think that's really important. So I just, I can't say enough how proud I am of this group. I'll start off. The weather was impacting basically <laughs> everything. Mm -hmm. um, You'd be surprised. We're from this <laughs> so There's yeah. nothing. <laughs> okay. I'll <laughs> start with you're from a part of the country that deals with a lot of adverse weather. How were you able to take the experience of playing just outside of Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and come down here in less than ideal conditions? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can. I I personally like, I love playing in the rain. I think it shows like your grittiness, and I think as a team, typically we t tend not to play well in the rain. But today, I think mm -hmm. seeing them pull out that grittiness, show up with mm -hmm. it, I think that was awesome to see. Especially uh, this year, I think we struggled with that, but mm -hmm. to see that change and that flip of the switch was just amazing. You look cooler playing in the rain too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see me sweat as much. No. <laughs> Uh, Sophia, can you mm -hmm. talk about um, a couple of the goals that you scored there, sure. able to get around a pretty good defense from Meredith mm -hmm. and get it through a goalkeeper in Madeline Harrell who uh, put up 13 saves but not on two of your shots? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the whole time we were emphasizing just we have to work as a unit mm -hmm. to beat that defense, and we had to really hone in on our shot placement to beat that goalie because, like you said, she is a very talented goalie and Meredith is a very talented team. so. We knew we would, like Abby said, have to be gritty, and especially with the rain. And um, I think the times that that worked for us was when it wasn't an isolated effort anywhere. It was the entire team working together, drives, cuts, and uh, just making sure that we had shot placement on top of that, I think, were the ones that went in, at least for me, and I think the team as well. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of goalkeeper play, coach, uh, not to discount what Caitlin Brown did, <laughs> the goal kept it close for the half, and yep. you know, really coming up with saves matching the other side shot for shot. Um, can you mm -hmm. speak on to her play for the week? <laughs> it's hard to, to put into words. Yeah. I think they would agree. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the team's heartbeat is Caitlin Brown. Mm -hmm. It has been for the last three years. And um, if there's anybody that plays with their heart on their, sle their sleeve, it's her. And I mm -hmm. think it's just yeah. it's a trickle effect through the team, playing with so much emotion, with talent. You know, she says the right things at the right time. She can be blunt. She can love you. She can hate you. She can do everything <laughs> all at once. And she's above all holds her teammates accountable. And that's why she's also a captain and someone that we all look up to. I look up to her. Yep. Um, and I think no matter the circumstance, she finds a way to either keep fighting back or when we, when we do come out on top, typically it's because she's had a stellar game. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, she wasn't the reason why we lost by any means, um, but she's also part of the reason why we stayed in the game. Mm -hmm. So, I have a question for uh, Sam and Gabby. <clears throat> um, 14 game winning streak coming in, and you had 15 wins in the season. Those were both school records. You played in three NCAA tournaments. Now, just talk about reflecting back on all that and just your experiences as WNJ wins lacrosse player. Yeah, um, I wouldn't trade my experience for the world. I mean, I've, I've gotten to play with some incredible women, some in incredible, talented, intelligent women mm -hmm. um, here at my time at W&J. D3 level, seeing how everyone was able to pull on their, their strengths. Um, just getting that one-on-one -on -one experience more so with um, coach because smaller team size, like we all got to grow a lot more in that way. And we experienced a lot through injuries with concussions and tears and all that fun <laughs> stuff. But um, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. I think that my experience here has not only made me a better a better lacrosse player, but um, I hope that someday it will make me a better teacher and a better coach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think kind of just piggybacking off of that, like someone who just grew up loving sports of all kind, it's so surreal to be in a platform like this and a, a stage like this. You watched, whether it's March Madness or D1, D2, like, it's just awesome. And people don't get this experience. And mm -hmm. I'm so blessed to be here with all. And I'm sorry I'm crying. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> uh, one, one last question here. Obviously, you guys have had a historic season. Um, 
What's what's next for W and J program? What's what's coming up next for you guys? Maybe in, in the next year, in the next couple of years, that, that you can look forward to growing off this uh, excellent senior class. What did I say in the locker room? Mm -hmm. oh. Always mm -hmm. more. We're gonna win an NCAA. That my goal is to win an NCAA game. Mm -hmm. It has been since this is the fifth time we've been here. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, our first year we didn't <laughs> have the AQ, but mm -hmm. this is the fifth time we were comp conference champions and the fourth time we were in the NCAA tournament and. We haven't won yet, so mm -hmm. period. That's it. I, yeah. I want to win an NCAA game, and we'll keep recruiting, and we'll keep molding the team that we have, developing the girls that we have, because um, we've got some studs. We have some girls mm -hmm. coming up. We had an yep. awesome freshman class, so mm -hmm. the future is bright. You know, we've got a couple of juniors that are coming back, obviously, so that's the goal. We're going to keep working for that, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, too, that Amanda uh, Eflin was 100% a part of this effort. Yep. We lost. Mm -hmm. Her uh, the late towards the end of our, our regular season, um, but she thankfully came out of surgery mm -hmm. with a brand new knee. So <laughs> we're really excited. Um, but she deserves to be uh, to, to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. I, I yep. needed to mention her. Okay. So absolutely. Hopefully she watches Andy. this. <laughs>